All right, what's going on, everybody? Man, I ain't feel like doing Jack today, Harley, man. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's see here. I got 7 October. It's like 6 o'clock, all right? I heard the retreat uh, going off here. I'm just over here by Air Force Base. That's where I live. And I know it's probably late out east, but I thought I'd do this video. Maybe if you wake up in the morning, you'll see it about Urban Meyer, all right? There's been a lot of talk about Urban Meyer and uh, the fact that he, uh, they lost against, uh, let's see here, Cincinnati, it was last Thursday, okay? They lost, at, at, it was a nail biter. I saw highlights of it, good game. Uh, the young man, Trevor Lawrence, uh, the rookie out of Clemson, I believe, uh, for the Jaguars played fairly well and I think I think they're just going to need time uh, man those guys are so big and powerful <laughs> reminds me of me when I was playing ball back in the day you know but anyway Urban Meyer uh, I guess it was a thing where he got caught that Saturday uh, so they played the game in Cincinnati uh, the team left that night, he stayed uh, out there in Ohio, and I guess his grandchildren, his children and grandchildren live out there in Ohio, uh, in Columbus, where Ohio State, where he used to coach. And I guess he went to go see his grandchildren, and I guess it was like a sigh of, he wanted a, a little release, and he went out to, I guess, one of his favorite bars that he knew, and he got caught on tape, I guess, you know, dancing, he had some girl backing it up on him or whatever, okay? Um, young lady and I guess he had his hands on her backside and uh, I know like ESPN man these guys these different pundits sports pundits that is are making a big deal out of this talking about he should be fired okay so I'm not going to sit there and say him being a married man is, is uh, and doing that is the right thing to do because it's not okay I do not encourage uh, that type of behavior, all right, for somebody to be married, okay? I mean, it, it's not no good look, all right, as I'm trying to decipher this situation here. But uh, all I could do is, number one, uh, if Urban Meyer and his wife had issues, and she came on, uh, I think, Fox and Twitter and be like, look, you know what, I don't, uh, we don't need to be, uh, condemned and all this other stuff they may have marital problems but i just pray you know that they're able to probably work you know come to some type of compromise as if they have marital problems that's their call on how they're going to handle that situation moving forward but we're getting into this i guess society now where you get people just saying oh you know you need to cancel this dude this is all the espn guys are saying some like stephen a smith all right, and I would have to agree uh, to him saying is that it is not a fireball offense to do. That's what he did on his personal time. He released the team to go home to take, I don't know, a day or two off, and he did whatever he did. So, no, it's not a fireball offense. I don't know why people – see, I think the way people are thinking, these pundits, were they were players, and they will probably get a much greater punishment than Urban Meyer, okay? So – all right. Um, as you can see, like some year, a uh, couple of years back, uh, Robert Kraft got caught in some little cheap ass $125 an hour um, massage parlor. Okay. And he ended up getting fined and ended up having to sit, uh, sit out for a few games. Well, in the end of the day, they don't, okay, he doesn't have to do, uh, do, to do the work. Urban Meyer does not have to do the work. The players have to do the work. Okay. And, I know it's unfair, but it's going to be a different type of, of treatment, all right? And I'll tell you this, okay, you have to also look at Urban Meyer, you know, I mean, he is a white man, and they are going to, you know, they do have their own uh, litigation uh, techniques and so forth, all right? They probably will be disciplined different, uh, differently. So, uh, that's what I... Uh, would say there it's more of a I think of a 
accountability thing, okay? And I would probably have to agree with, look, you know what? If he's probably going to tell the team what to do, then I guess it's just a matter of him following the same standard, all right? Now, I think that's more of a, a moral, you know, to do the right thing standard, but that's not a issue where it's a violation of, like, uh, let's say the NFL conduct policy or violation to be to be terminated. Now, I believe that will, okay, if there, because number uh be something that could be considered uh, with the executive management for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, because number one, I don't know if Urban Meyer is not following, you know, uh, doing things that, the things that the your owner and the management want them, him to do, but he's been under fire about that, okay? I think there has been a little bit of tension to a fault and number two, he's not winning ball games, okay? And that may be something he could do when he was at Ohio State uh, because they were winning. He was uh, producing uh, premier talent in the NFL. Uh, I believe that he is a good recruiter. He, he is a fairly, he's a fairly decent coach, all right? And he's produced, what, like five championships, a couple of, like three in Florida and like two up in uh, Ohio State. All right, but the NFL is just a whole different par uh, paradigm, or um, so to speak. Okay, uh, that's definitely a man's world where you have to adapt to a strictly business type of environment. That's a whole different plethora, and I believe that it's very difficult to win um, in the NFL. I believe that it was a couple of. Uh, that the uh, that the players they love Urban Meyer, all right, and I just think that they're gonna again they're gonna need some time. Uh, it may be a wake up call for Urban Meyer, all right, to let him know that he is being watched. It's not the same. That's not the same game as college, and I believe that probably many owners, if they're not getting the results they want to get, then they'll start looking the, uh, for these things. Uh, they'll probably start doing things like doing these uh, these piss tests or start putting these players on surveillance and that type of stuff, all right? So I think it, it's really, if you are in a, any profession, okay, and if your performance is tanking or whatever, you probably want to fix it or whatever because they are going to put you under, you know, under scrutiny. And, uh Urban Meyer is probably un, a little bit, you know, under scrutiny. And I guess it's a, I think it's a wake up call to take care of himself and things a little bit better. All right. It does say things like uh, scriptures, like in one Samuel, you know, a man's home is basically his castle, his family. All right. Uh, blessed is the man that, you know, uh, in control of his home, his family and his business. All right. It also says that, Hey, Chasing harlots and uh, chasing these broads, let's see, in Proverbs, do lead to uh, a world of poverty. So I believe that that may be like, you know, maybe the most high, maybe reaching out to touch him, whatever, and be like, hey, you know what? Tighten up your shot group. But I believe that things will be okay, all right? Um, look, at the end of the day, these players have got families. They want to probably go out to have a good time. The coaches need to have, uh, probably want to go and, you know, I'm not going to condone it, all right, but they probably need a release too, even the owners, all right, but, you know, I think there's a time and place for everything, all right. I believe that Urban Meyer is of will fix it. I believe that, again, that uh, he is a loved, well-loved coach by many young players in the NFL and particularly on the organization, and I just pray for, you know, him and his wife and his children uh, that uh, things will be fine okay i give him that that prayer and encouragement i'm not going to be the ones that be like cancel okay as we living in this this damn cancel culture people want to cancel somebody anytime somebody fought the wrong way or slip up or whatever okay maybe make a slip so all right i think that urban meyer will be just fine all right but i think it's just a matter of winning them damn ball games all right because that's the key to success or whatever all right especially in this league or whatever else you're doing, all right, then you are performing at a very high level.
All right, that's enough talk. All right, feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, Cash App, dollar sign Winston Spivey or S P I V E W 1 at unlv.devada.edu. All right, thanks for listening, y'all.